Imagine a society where everything you do, everything you say, and everything you buy is controlled and evaluated by the authorities. It's not science fiction. In China, it's a reality. From now on, citizens' lives are rated and assessed. This is what the Chinese Communist Party calls social credit. Here's our chart of excellence models. I'm the second one. In Fulushan, the villages have been rated for a year. There are good citizens who contribute to the community and bad ones, those who, for example, leave their trash out. Chong Kejong is featured on the Wall of Honor because of his exemplary behavior. It's because I help to keep the village clean. I also help people improve our environment and I help people become wealthier. I'm proud, but it's also a lot of pressure because when you're on this wall, you always want to be better. <laughs> the social credit rating system began testing five years ago in approximately 30 Chinese cities. It will be rolled out across the entire country by 2020. Good citizens will benefit from discounts on their bills and will be able to get bank loans more easily. Bad citizens will be banned from buying train or plane tickets. For the Communist Party, this system is a way to punish and exclude those they judge to be disturbing the harmony of Chinese society. By using the mechanism of social credit, we'll be able to establish a blacklist of people and create a system of punishment that will be based on a scientific theory. These punishments will serve as a whip to rebuild moral values. Our society needs it. 